Just days out from the 100-year anniversary of the Gallipoli landings, the NRL has announced a four-year partnership with the Australian War Memorial, ensuring the Anzac centenary is respectfully commemorated by the game every year till 2018. NRL Chief Executive Dave Smith revealed the plan alongside Dr Brendan Nelson, the Director of the Australian War Memorial. The NRL is privileged to have the chance to work with the Australian Defence Force, the RSL and the Australian War Memorial on a 10-day Anzac centenary commemorative program such that we too can play our part in honouring the Anzacs. The Australian War Memorial is very pleased, indeed very proud, to partner with the NRL and the great game of rugby league to ensure that Australians, including those Australians who play and follow the sport of rugby league, understand Australia's story, the story of values. Yes, it's set in the context of war, but in the end it's about mateship, friendship, support of one another, the qualities of endurance, of courage, of sacrifice, and being prepared to support each other. Representatives from 10 NRL clubs, as well as the Jillaroos, Kiwi Ferns, Junior Kangaroos and Junior Kiwis, attended on Tuesday to be part of the launch and show their respect for a most significant part of the history of both Australia and New Zealand. Just seeing all the names on the wall and um, hearing the stories about the, uh, the battles the Australia was involved in, it's, uh, it, it's pretty remarkable. So, you know, a, a lot of Australians uh, sacrificed their lives, uh, you know, for the benefit of this country and, and, and uh, you know, it's nice to have these sort of celebrations to uh, pay respects to that. It's sort of hard to comprehend, you know, just what they must have went through and what they sacrificed just for everyone back home. Every time you see it, it's very moving. Uh, it puts, puts things in, into reality of what, what the young men and women uh, uh, did all those years to, uh, you know, to, for this country and, and for us. You know, seeing all those names of the, I guess, the young kids who had to go to war uh, just to you know, I guess to protect our, our countries is, uh, you know, was very touching. The level of respect between obviously both Australian and New Zealand, New Zealanders for being able to com combine together for that um, that occasion in Gallipoli and, and what they had to go through there is, is certainly amazing and I think the Anzac spirit just gets stronger and stronger. Certainly when the Kiwis win something, you know, it's always our Anzac cousins uh, that the Australians are talking about. So um, it's definitely uh, a real strength now and it just gets stronger and stronger. The, the amount of respect that players have for, for the soldiers is huge. The announcement was followed by a tour of the memorial as well as wreath laying at the last post ceremony dedicated to Ted Larkin. It was quite a special uh, time to pretty much remember those people that passed away, especially um, Ted Larkin. So he's pretty much one of us and, you know, for him to lay his life for, you know, for the country you know, is, is quite special. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. It's a special occasion. Um, certainly it's a, it's a time for us to um, kind of um, give our time um, and our respects to really those men and the families that, that they have gone through that uh, in order for us to um, you know, live the life that we're living right now.